Welcome to Tigo King's YouTube channel. Today, I received a request from a customer to weld a steel bushing in the center of the mild steel plate. There are three important tricks and tips I want to share with you. One, if you weld mild steel, you should remove the mill scale. Two, high amp and weld fast versus low amp and weld slow, which gives less heat input. Three, how to fix the warped plate after welding. Let's get started. Key point one, remove the mill scale. What is the mill scale? The black layer on the surface of the steel. That's the mill scale. It is formed by oxidization during the steel manufacturing process. Why do I have to remove the mill scale? It hinders welding. It causes welded fats such as porosity and the undercut. It is not optional. You should remove it to weld. How to remove it? Mostly remove it using a grinder. Just remove the area where you're going to weld. Parts are ready to put together. Insert the bushing in the middle of the plate and tack it up. Now you are ready to weld. If you don't have a welding rotator, you need to hold it in a vise or a zig for easy welding. I will show you an example. I put a pipe on the table and put the parts into it. Easy to turn and not moving while welding. I will use a welding rotator. Key point two, high amp and run fast. If you give too much heat to the base metal, the shape of base metal will be changed. Therefore, it is better to give less heat to the base metal to minimize the distortion. Many new welders may set the amperage low to give less heat. This is a completely wrong understanding. I will show you the proof. First, let's compare the welding. One is welded with 200 amp and the other one 150 amp. You can see that I weld quickly with 200 amp. On the other hand, the welding speed at 150 amp is significantly slower than 200 amp. Let's see the results. The left one is 200 amp and the right one is 150 amp. The heat affected zone shows a clear difference. Unlike you expected, the high weld amperage with fast welding speed gives way less heat input to the material. Key point three, how to straighten the warped plate. The customer wants to weld only one side. Can you expect what is going to happen? You cannot avoid warping. The weld pulls the plate. You should know how to fix it. Basically, there are two ways to straighten it, heating or press. In the last episode, I showed you how to fix a warped plate using a heat. Today, I will straighten the plate with hydraulic pressure. I don't have a sharp press, so I will use a frame and a bottle jack. Place the plate on the frame facing the world upward. Place a 6-inch pipe to apply pressure to the plate. Place the hydraulic jack and apply pressure. How much pressure should I apply? There is no right answer. It is just guessing. When you release the pressure, the plate comes back like a spring. You have to expect this and to overbend a little bit like you see in the video. Let's see how it comes out. 
I think it is good enough. Okay, all done and ready to deliver. It is a very simple episode, but please remember key points. You have to remove the mill scale to weld melt steel. It is better to set the welder current high and travel fast to give less heat input. The weld heat pulls the material, and you should know how to straighten it by heat or press. Thanks for watching and see you next time.